So I love having Belle from Wine Selectors here with me again. We always have so much fun. <laughs> so today I've got a cheeseburger spring roll. And we're actually going to match it with something a little bit different because of course you've just completely and utterly spiced up a tradition. <laughs> so I'm going to spice up a tradition as well and um, give you something a little bit different from one of the oldest wine regions. Awesome, so let's get started. All I'm doing here is doing all of the ingredients that you would put into a hamburger. So you've got some meat, some onions, some garlic, some cheese and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, mustard as well. Put it all into a bowl, mix it up. So, what wines have you got for me? So, the one that's in your glass can is an amazing Barbera. Mm -hmm. So, coming out of an awesome Hunter Valley producer, David Hook, which likes to spice things up, absolutely. So, of course, Hunter's known for the Semillons and the Shiraz that they produce. But a lot of people don't realise that even though Hunter Valley is an old wine region, mm -hmm. that they do have the weird and wonderfuls, that they okay. have been leaders of innovation and have something that is a little bit different. So, the second one I have is this beautiful little Shiraz Pinot Noir from Silkman Wines. Yep. Um, this one here is quite different because of course you either have a Shiraz or you have a Pinot Noir. Yeah, yeah. So you're spicing it up again, breaking tradition, blending them together. Gorgeous. Which will go amazing with the cheeseburgers, spring rolls just <laughs> I'm quietly. actually so excited I'm for these. I'm so excited to try them. Basically, I've got most of my ingredients in this bowl now. I'm just going to put some breadcrumbs into it, some of that grated cheese. Yum. And then I'm going to beat an egg and put half of the beaded egg into this. So it is really going to be like a meat patty. Yeah, yeah it's going to be a meat patty. So cool. But then we're going to wrap it inside of some... Spring roll wrappers. So I'm just going to give this a quick beat with a fork because no use in getting a whisk dirty for this. <laughs> We're going to pour half of it in. Oh, little bee. We've had our friends around us today, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to save the other half because I'm going to use that to brush the pastry oh. of the spring roll. Give this a quick mix. So many things happening in here, so many aromats, then the cheese is going on. Oh, Gorgeous. Yum. So, Khan, this is all going into a spring roll wrapper. Yeah. Like, this is just mind-bogglingly for me. So, <laughs> how have you come up with this amazing creation? Well, look, I love burgers and I love spring rolls. And I was like, <laughs> how do I make them better? Do you know what? What if I put a burger inside a spring roll? That's Let's amazing. give it a go. What a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, as you can see in the bowl, the, the cheese is still there and the onions are still there. Obviously, the onions will start to break down once it cooks, but the cheese will then begin to melt. So you're going to get all this gooey cheese inside of your spring roll. Oh, that's and then divine. straight into this dipping sauce that I'm just obsessed with. Oh. All right, let's get going. So I've pre-cut my spring roll wrappers. So it's a spoonful that goes in to the middle. Mm -hmm. Like that and like that. Get your fingers dirty, it's all good. I'm just going to give it a quick little brush with the egg mix just to help seal it later on. And we're going to fold the sides in. Mm -hmm. So just like that, just so that they meet in the middle. This over the top, and then we just roll it until it closes. Now make sure that you press down on that edge so it doesn't fly back open. Well, That's the first one, done. Oh, yeah. my fat. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. So we'll do a couple more. We'll get through all of that mix and then we're gonna chuck it into the pot. Awesome. Which is on a boil right now with some oil in it and crisps the spring rolls up. So that's the spring rolls, all wrapped, ready to go. I'm gonna check on the oil now. So usually what I do is I grab a little bit of the spring roll wrapper and I just drop it in. And if it fries up like it is, then it's ready to go. That's looking great. So now let's put the actual spring rolls into the oil. I'm gonna probably do six at a time. Cool. Just gently lower them in. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous, yum. <laughs> this shouldn't take very long at all, just about a minute, a minute and a half will do. The oil is sitting at about 140 degrees. It's a bit lower than what you would normally have, but just because I really want the onions to soften and the cheese to melt. So Khan, how do you actually know when they're done? Um, they go golden. The swing rolls get really golden. And then you just strain them off onto some paper towel. Oh, right. And then let them cool down and you're ready to eat. That's cool.
yum. They're looking so delicious. Absolutely. Ugh. So, do you know what? I'm gonna set these aside to cool down. If you wanna steal one, feel free, and I'll get started on the sauce. Thank you. Here you go. Mm, it's so good. Mm. Wait until you get mm. that with this sauce. Mm. So we've got some mayo in there. I'm mm -hmm. gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce in it. Mm -hmm. Some mustard, just some American mustard. Some chopped up dill pickles. Yum, I love pickles on my cheeseburger. Yeah, yum. Mm -hmm. A little bit of paprika. Just a nice pinch. A little bit of salt. Give that a mix. This is basically your sauce. It is so good. No, it's all the flavours of a cheeseburger, really. Oh my gosh, Khan, it looks amazing. Thank you. I'm just going to plate these guys up. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Got a lovely little plate here. There's the dipping sauce. I'm going to put a couple of these bad boys on. So that there is my cheeseburger spring roll. Awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>